come into my clinic, what do I do? I don't like to give you estrogen when you still make estrogen. I don't think that's really my job. My job is to create balance in the system, right? So I want you to transition through menopause without needing estrogen. I wait till you're on the other end and that's when I start using estrogen. So then how do I get away with the FSH bouncing around, causing those symptoms, super physiological levels of estradiol, imbalance of estradiol? How do I do that? Good question. What I do first is get them on progesterone dosed based on labs, okay? I run the labs and make sure they absorb it well and make sure it's working. I use the LCMS testing. Maybe I use ELISA testing on the background just to see what they're converting over, but I make sure they have enough progesterone in their body to match estrogen. I make sure it's healthy. That's the first thing we do. What's the second thing we do? Testosterone. Not male dosing, but female dosing. Very, very careful. Very careful. And you run labs always. Anyone ever gives you a hormone and doesn't do labs is just um, rolling dice with your life and your health. Because, so I start you on testosterone. I run my labs. I make sure I, one, got the free levels of testosterone, the, the, what touches cells. I, get, I make sure that's the right level. Okay, that's first. Second, I make sure the downstream metabolite dihydrotestosterone is not supra physiological. But even if it is physiological and you're like, you know, Brandon, I'm having this issue. I'm, you know, oily skin. I feel like I'm growing hair all over the place. We have a risk benefit thing. We sit down and says, is it benefiting you? There's a side effects outweighing the benefit here. As long as you're in the normal physiological range, I'm good there. And then if you don't feel right, lower it until you feel right or raise it until you feel right. But get you in here. Find you as the woman. Find you as the woman. Testosterone suppresses FSH, doesn't suppress it. I mean, it does, so I went crazy with it, sure. But I, it brings it into a more manageable level. <laughs> That's our goal. I want that FSH in a normal level. I don't want it too high, I don't want it too low. I want it right where it should be, right? Ideal.